This is why I said don't use your foot to turn because of what she was doing. So if I want to turn and I look left and I've got my rein on and she's not turning, I might bump my right foot. Just a little bump. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. I don't care how she's turning right now. Then I'm going to draw my hands again. But the, the turn, if she's not going, I'm going to use my right calf as a little gas pedal. So right now I'm asking her to turn with my rein. If it's not fast enough, watch my right calf. Watch my right calf. Just a little bump up. Bump up. Good. That's plenty good. The reason why I don't want to squeeze my right calf and leave my hands in the middle is because look at how look at how my turn changes. Oh yeah, okay. Look at how it's changing. She's got no turn here. She's just pushing her shoulders that way. Style does this. Oh, your horse. So I don't want to use my foot to make them turn because they get out of shape. I'm on this circle with this arc. So I want to use my reins and then a little gas pedal if I don't get what I want. Good. Now I'm gonna try that same spin, but I'm gonna just use my right foot. So here's my spin, but here's my right foot on her. <laughs> but it's, it's still good, not as good, right? It's not as good Because she don't have as good a, a shape to her. So don't use the foot to turn your horse. Use your calf or your foot as a little impulsion or a little bit of bump. And I'll fix her spin a little bit. See, I have to fix it now. Okay, does that make sense?